This is the slotted bucket. Over the next 10 years, we've got 126 kilometers of ballast to replace. We need to look at a way that we can deliver this effectively, cheaply and productively. Here's a new method, the slotted bucket method. This is being delivered in weekends at the moment, but once we perfect this, we can take it overnight and start delivering a railway for the future while most of London sleeps. So yeah, as you can see, down the works right, have very few men. We're aiming to do this as lean as we can, as cheaply as we can, but obviously still maintaining track standards and quality. Three, three and a half metre wide dig to the correct depth with the correct cross fall. With this slushy bucket we've got now, we should be able to achieve all of these aims. What is re-ballasting and why are we doing it? Well, this spoil underneath existing track is exceptionally hard. There's no voids in that track to allow the water to drain through, away from the railway. That gives us a poor ride quality and slower speeds. So what did we used to do before we brought this new method on? We used to take out all of the rails, all of the sleepers, all of the track in nine meter panels and relay it. With this method, we just replaced the ballast, which is the only element that needs to be replaced. My job aside as an engineer is to make sure track quality is right, uh, by getting the right dig depth, uh, dig width, and the cross, achieve the cross fall as well. What's great about the bucket is, it's safe, it's quick, and it's consistent. I've also been using this um, on a network rail site uh, for quite some time, and uh, from past experience, it's been a very good bit of kit. Once we get into it, there's been no problems. This is the only section where the machines stop. We check the depth with the engineers and then the Taram goes in, five metres. And that's it for the labour, that's all they do. And then we get back on with the digging. These five metre Taram sections are cut up and laid on the side of the track, ready for when the machines stop, they can jump straight in, take the measurements, put the Taram in, get out, get digging. All effective and lean. So we're halfway through the job here and we're halfway through the time that we've allocated to go on programme. But we've learnt some things this morning. We've jacked through the job as we've gone to make sure that the level that we put back is exactly what we need, rather than coming through later and jacking it back up to that level. We've learnt also that we've got a long beam that we're putting through the dig as we do it to give it to the right grave. And the biggest thing for me is that the guys have learned how to do this all by themselves. Big success. This technique, using the slayer bucket, has proven that it works and we've actually achieved the cross fall. I think the guys that have done really well in this job are Andy Kay, Humphrey, Steve, Sammy and the rest of the team. They've really put their necks above the line to really try something new. I think it's really good because they're pushing on innovation and they're doing things in a new way.